I would be down for that, but that's going to double the amount of videos I upload in a day. Now people are going to bitch. Oh, it's too many videos uploaded. That's annoying. You're flooding my inbox. Hey, right? it's Michael Jackson. You know, How my you doing, dude? Tank. When I, uh, when I hope I the tractors constantly bring from, clips of DSP to big you know, YouTubers and keep the line on. I hope so. People absolutely 27, Cadence. All those Hell yeah. Complain. And I told them, well, Almost I'm old you, enough to mature out of film. It's going to change around here, and they didn't listen, and I did it. They did. So then I became I've crowdfunded on I've got a whole list of 40 or 50 you know, things in Palm 2. Oh, shit. And I'm going to attack. Jade is 27. Pretty embarrassing, you huh? No, I would never do a 24-hour long stream event. That should only be for people who have like a team of people working together who can tag in and out so you can take formal breaks. It's not healthy. Yeah, you can't even do it once or you will die. Four hours, that's crazy to think that anyone should think that they, that's They're normal. not saying it's, it's not. normal. You know, like 24 example, hour if long stream it was event. Me and a friend of mine and maybe we did some event. Co -op and I played for 5 hours, he played for 5 hours and we alternated the day out. Does you, do you not know what event good. means, DSP? Just one person doing a 24 okay. hours is stupid. incredibly stupid. I'm sorry. Tell anyone Still you want that I said yep. that. I think if you're doing a 24 hour yeah, stream, that's, that's, that's the thing, incredibly man. fucking stupid. No Watching this it. It public broadcast, purpose. stalking away. Tune in later anyway, even if you split the stream or not. Stop popping it, you know, and all you're doing is hurting yourself. I'm working There's at no it. No reason for that. I received a five dollar tip. Nobody Tev did a seventy-two hour stream. That's because Tevin's not human. He's a negative detractor demon. From an anonymous tipper, I'm digging. Yeah, the real down sexy, Phil. Good. Have a good day and safe. A good safe day off. Thank you. Oh, I just realized those are anchors. Like, I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know. You guys asked me to. I did it as a Streamers random do joke some sleeping as part of 24 hour event. That'd be pretty funny. Over two weeks ago, you guys liked the silly Hawaiian style, you know, party shirt. Wait a minute, are you the guy? I said, hey, would you dress like that more Michael often? Jackson, so are you the guy? Are you the dude who got um, right here, ran away from home? Conditioner. I started freaking wearing the shirts, and now you guys seem to like it. Oh so man, I'm a big I'm fan. For you Friday, this is the last one. The one I'm going to wear on Friday is the last shirt. See if DSP has a spare bedroom you can stay in, man. Seeing all, you know, going back to the. I know the gate code because I stalk him constantly, right? Ah, shit, it's the guy. Okay. Well, you're welcome here, man. I don't ban you. Have a good time. What kind of stories do I have on Machinima? Oh, again, I can tell you all about how I got recruited by them. I can tell you about my early interactions That's with them. That's not your business. You, how hilarious you know what? On some level, Michael, you're possibly right. Them. But at yes. the same time, Guys, I have this empathy for people who are being manipulated rat rat. by people. And, and I feel like it's my in the day, like civic duty to highlight that. Well known as a YouTuber, came so, to me for oh. help on all kinds of shit because we were all machinima partners. But like I said, I'm not going to ban you, you can, unless you start doing something really stupid. But I'm not going to tell you what that is, so you try you know, to do I tell it. You about the negotiations on contracts. And uh, just have fun. Have a good time. I tell you about um, my my trip to E3 and how that went with them because I, you know, it was absolutely hilarious. The thing like is, launching I tell station force with zero inequality. Yeah, man, you saw my gameplay. I'm amazing at that game. It'd be pretty embarrassing for them. So I didn't really tell oh, you the sweet. full story. Oh, sweet. Full story time. the full story of how it really went. Remember I told you that... Yeah, what's the real story? ...cover a game? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you the actual full story for I was a deep once. cover operative. It's going to be pretty good. You're, you've never heard We're of it. We're not before, being so manipulated. People already make up the story that Phil is doing something bad. Okay. I didn't want to talk shit yeah, about Yeah, I, I made up him me, wanting to slap a child. Yeah, man, I made all that up. That was the biggest shit show possible going to E3 that year. You got me. Guilty as charged. Okay. I'm guilty as slander, dude. We're going to talk about the big debacle of no, when that's, that's I had dumb as hell, and how they literally destroyed my channel with their advice on how to handle them. I'm also going to tell you about, uh, you know, the incident and how that affected stuff because they did things I oh, never no. authorized them to do at all. Which Shit. Which pissed me off. That they Extra that dirt on them. Got to take them out. And more. There's so much to talk about with my history with Machinima. Hours of stuff. And I'm gonna, like I said, what I'm going to Like do, Phil said, probably, you spin around in the toilet uh, called the internet. Well, that, now, that one's guilty as charged. Yeah, see, we're not even a week you got left, me. We still got over a week left. What, uh, should you guys... Well, event. here's the I'm thing, Michael. All my I was emails, told by Phil that I should now. seek medical about help. Stuff, but unfortunately, I'm too stupid and crazy and deranged. So maybe can you send me a link of some mental health places? If you actually care about people? Yeah, that's what I thought, man. Yes, there's a reason we did that. It's really stupid. It's Machinima's fault. It's Machinima's fault. DSP is blameless. Yeah. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Really dumb. Um, you know that re that trip really upset me more than anything. As nice know. as it was, to DSP went to the shadow room. I, I want to save this for the event. We're yeah, this save my days. stories okay, for then. This will be part of the event. Then I can work on the plot holes. Then about how unprofessional Machinima was. Okay. I see Tina, Tony Pizza <laughs> running his right. Yeah, he's cool. See, now, if you said even one of these comments in DSP's chat, Michael, you'd have been... 
regard to goal boxes, to me, binging a bunch of smaller parts versus watching a longer part is exactly the same. I think it's better to have it longer so you don't You have, have nothing on Phil. Complete. None of you do. All this stuff is made up. In reality, yeah, his racist comments that he said list. on stream. Yeah, dude, I, I what happened was, I am actually Phil. Really quick videos. And, and I so I when big, I go into costume and I did all this, you're right. Videos instead of 100. This you guy, he's blameless. Words, it's easier to remember what to click, you know? I, everyone just used the playlist that I've literally set up since day all one. All the bad things are made up. Okay, we never yeah. have a problem, but some people still don't use playlists to this day 15 years later. You're a crazy <laughs> individual, dude. Yeah, yes, all of us are DSP. We attack. take turns. It's kind of like jury attacks. duty. Yeah. Uh, God, it's my turn to be DSP for the night. That's why he's so chaotic and random. It's called sentence mixing. Basically, yeah, like exactly, dude. I, I, yeah. Park when I wear these shirts. Here, I'll yeah. show you how that works. Which one did he like have this? Now? It was like palm trees, right? It was. It was like palm trees. Yeah. He goes, Dodgson. We've got Dodgson here. I love that quote. I love that movie. <laughs> now I want to watch that movie. It's such a good movie. Mark says, I started watching your content when you played Hitman Absolution, but later on I actually saw that you tried that at E3 earlier in the year in a YouTube video. Yep. 2012. That was about one year I went to E3. 2012. How the reaction? Quiet down for a little good. bit, me. We actually got... Here we go. Uh, about 20 or 30 new members in the last couple of weeks, and that actually added... This is a made-up toxic sentence out of context. It is a black woman. Ek, 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 la 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 camera was on the whole time. Yeah, it sounds just like him. So I think the last week was good. I think this week coming up will also be pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm not thinking about Halloween costumes yet, Arkham. That's, that's we're we're in pretty. You're July. all weak. You come you know, up with that same garbage of this LARP, this LARP, that. I don't think you're LARP. I don't think you're LARPing, Michael. I think you're having fun, and that's beautiful. I, I encourage people to have fun. You can have fun here. It's cool. Yeah, Stop that shit. Wait, Wait do DSP is three detractors in a trench coat? Ah, oh, damn. Did. You caught me, Roman, Roman. Jasper. Platformers, right? Platforming game shooters, that kind of stuff. <laughs> LARP D's nuts me around. Oh, shit. Cadence is actually LTG all along. Based, like, exploration game where you learned about the dinosaurs. They never made a true So I, I got a question for you, Michael Jackson. I've watched DSP quite a few times. I watched his rant that he went on about, what was it, Spite? What it was called? He went on a rant in Spite. How did I make up those sentences while I was watching them? I, I actually would like to know how to do that. That sounds like a really cool technique to have. Do you realize how much I would abuse that power if I had it? I'd abuse the shit out of it. Someone's no, going to call you people out? I appreciate it, man. You're doing the Lord's work out here. Call me out all day. I'm clearly deranged and mentally ill and crazy. That's why I got the name Lynn the Deranged. It was because that's what my physician told me. Gabriel says, was I always good at public speaking? It's never been a thing. I got it when I first started streaming. Trying to steal his... I don't want his money. I don't care about this dude. Dude, I got a stable job that I can work. And unlike this small child, I realized that, you know, working is probably the better way to go about it. But Mr. Grown Adult here wants to say, well, you can't ever count on money to always be there. You could get struck by a meteor at any moment. Take a look at my videos from 10 years ago. When you people got him SWAT, you mean wellness checked? First of all, I didn't even watch him back then. I didn't even know about this dude back then. So these, all the people in the chat... Um, in my voice. these are all my view thought, bots and they definitely the weren't there I then I so as good at, but I've debunked it better over the years of becoming a public speaker and, and you know you know what my, Michael Jackson I'll go with this you know where I want his the money to go back to who gave it to him Every single one of these people who give him money, they could have spent it on themselves, their family, their future, or any cause that actually is worth a damn. But they sent it to this guy. I'm mad on behalf of people who got robbed. Maybe you don't understand empathy, but that's what it means. Jade? Jade could be spending that money on himself. He should be spending that money on himself. Every single one of these jackasses should be spending their money on themselves or their family. Instead, they're sending it to a dude who would step over the dead body. Maybe you don't understand that. You think if you were in a burning building, this dude would help you? Fuck that. No, he wouldn't help you and then he'd get on stream and say that he did. Dude, I tried to get in there and save him, but, uh, you know, I got a bad back. <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. Winding down. I will tell you this. If you were not here earlier today for Zangief's stream and Street Fighter 6, you missed out. That was the by far the best stream I've done in Street Fighter 6. 
Those were close ass matches. I was actually significant. I did already, but I can't give him more because of one of you detractors snitching on me. Go ahead and keep giving him money. I don't care. You don't hurt me. You only hurt yourself. Really? Like I go for it. Just by watching videos of top players, and I was implementing that stuff. I gained two rankings today. Two playing with Zangief, and I won a ton. I won way Let me ask you this, Michael Jackson. This dude divulged his wife's restraining order on stream. If this man is willing to throw his own wife in front of him to protect himself, what do you think this guy would do to you? And I'm not here tomorrow. What do you think he would do to you? If you happen to watch anything, please like the videos, leave comments, please give that engagement. You mean nothing to him. You are nothing to him. You're a number. You're not even a number. You're a concept at best. But you know what? Here you could be someone. I don't care. It's going to be those two characters in Street Fighter 6 on Friday. And I hope you'll be here. All right, guys. All right, everyone. Please have a good evening. Thank you again for a great show. We've got a great time with all of you. Yeah, for real. And I guess this is your manifestation of loyalty, huh? Coming here and trying to be funny in here. Safe and sound. Hey, look. I'm the star of the show. Only I'm funny. Thank you. Great stream. Have a good night. Peace out, my friends. See you All later. right. DSP. Later, dude. I'm going to sit here and chat for a little bit. We're having a lot of fun here. Phil doesn't even know you're... No. Does, did Phil come to your defense when you were getting raked over by the coals? I don't think so. I don't think that happened. Hmm. No, man. I care about people. That's why I don't like DSP. Because I'll, I'll tell you the origin story since you're new here. I got into DSP from watching Low Tier God. And Low Tier God, I just thought, was this goofy salt lord who screamed at video games all day. I didn't think he was a bad person necessarily until I started really looking into him. But then I saw a bunch of recommendations to, hey, watch DSP. He's basically like the same guy. And I thought, oh, he seems pretty funny. He's just kind of a salt lord. He screams at games. We all do that. But then I kept seeing uh, suggested things like a DSP scams fan. And I thought, oh, that's probably just means, you know, he didn't do a run back or something. You know, that's a scam, right? And then I saw videos of him promising people shit and then not delivering. That's a scam, dude. That's a goddamn scam. Watching Phil 24-7 like you do. Motherfucker, I work. <laughs> I can't. Uh, but um, hold on. Let me. Let me. All right. Let's come get your boy. going to be stupid. Let's not do that. There we go. Oh, yeah. He doesn't scam. We still get stuff for paying him. Really? You do? Well, what, what do you get, Michael? Let me, let me ask you, what do you get? What do you get? Look at that Discord. Stalkers. Yeah, stalkers use Discord. That makes DSP a stalker. Oops. Oh, yeah, the Discord leak. That's wild. That's a good one. You people have problems. What's my problem? Tell me what my problem is. You have a channel dedicated to him. No, sir, I have a channel dedicated to me. My channel... Let's... Let me make something pretty clear here. I'm not in it for the money. Contrary to DSP's little rants, I'm actually not in it for the money. I do this as an artistic expression, first of all. Look at all, let's just do a little bit of goofing around. You see all these different layouts I made here, uh, like this one or this one or, well, that one's not really a good one. Yeah, toxic. Uh, I forgot to turn that off. But I make these for me because DSP, I'll give him credit, he does inspire me to do new things. And so I, I put all this effort in my stream because it's funny. And following DSP is, for me, a noble cause because you are supposed to follow bad people. Let me put it this way, Michael. If you knew a person was hurting people, vulnerable people, like say they're taking money from the elderly or whatnot, are you a bad person for keeping eyes on them at all ta times? Is that a bad person who would do that? I don't think so. I don't think that's a bad person. 
Do and I will answer this: Do I want DSP to go away? Not necessarily. I do find him amusing at times. The way he lives in this dream world—that's pretty fun sometimes. All right. Yes, it's called mind your own business. So you are of the mindset that if you have the opportunity to do the right thing, you should choose not to do it. I, I, I'm I'm sorry. Maybe that makes me too different from Phil. Maybe maybe you're not used to that kind of thing. But that's not how I operate. If I see someone doing the wrong thing, I feel like it's my civic duty as a human being to to do something about it. I, I it just makes sense to me. So, no. If you're trying to convince me of the virtues of apathy, it's not going to work on me, dude. You're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, a little shadow. He's having a lot of fun. He's trying his best. He's 41, 41 years old, and you're acting like school children. How am I acting like a school children? The, the same guy who tries to scold people like school children? School children. Are you saying that school children have the mentality of helping people, and that, that's what makes them naive and stupid? You're bullying. <laughs> I'm bullying. Michael, do you realize how embarrassing that sounds? That I'm bullying a 41-year-old man. 41-year-olds shouldn't be bullied. 41-year-olds should have enough emotional stability to not be bullied. Here, I'll give you some more insight on me. Maybe it'll help when you try and dox me. I work at a community justice system. Like I work in prisons, and I work at detention facilities, and I work in the courtroom. This dude, this Phil Burnell dude, would last all of 14 seconds in my job. You haven't seen vitriol until you've seen what these kids will do. These DSP would go home and cry working my job. And you know what? I still don't consider that bullying. I still don't consider that bullying. Because I'm a grown-ass adult and they're children. So DSP, the 41-year-old getting bullied, says more about him than it says about anyone who's quote-unquote bullying him. So quit playing this game that I need to look out for a poor 41-year-old. Yeah, poor 41-year-old man-child. I should really be concerned about a 41-year-old man-child. Oh, I'm, I should consider his feelings. <laughs> Fuck his feelings. He doesn't care about anybody else. And you know what? I'll be like Phil in that regard. I won't care about his feelings. You need to stop. When is enough enough? <sighs> Tell you what. DSP will outlive us all anyway, so what does it matter if I stop or not? Yeah, 41-year-olds shouldn't be bullied. That's embarrassing, man. I would never say I'm being bullied. And I'm younger than DSPs. <laughs> They're bullying. I wonder if that's on his phone calls to mom. Mom, these kids are bullying me over the internet. That's shameful. <laughs> My dad would make fun of me for saying that shit. He went to his mommy and was talking to him about these trolls on the internet. They're just making it so hard for me, mommy. Please pay my taxes, mommy. My mom would have laughed at me. <laughs> I don't know, but I had fairly decent parents. I didn't turn out like Phil. But here's the thing. You people should know better. Did your mom and dad teach you how to be an adult? You know what my mom and dad taught me? It's a good thing you asked this, Michael Jackson. My mom and dad taught me that if I see someone doing something bad, that it is my obligation as a human being to monitor it, document it, or report it. And possibly all three. If, if you see injustice in the world, you should keep an eye on it. That's what my mom and dad taught me. My mom and dad taught me to have empathy for people. My mom and dad taught me to care about people. DSP's parents didn't do that. You can see that very clearly. Take, stop for a second here. This dude got a new arcade stick, gifted from a fan. Have you seen how much he beats on that shit? Or have you seen the way he spends the money that people give him? He doesn't care about anything anybody gives him. It doesn't matter. Whereas when anybody ever gives me something, I feel immensely blessed that they spent money that they earned from working a job that they probably find shitty to give me something. That's amazing. DSP giving something? Look at this piece of shit. This piece of junk. Not where I'm from. You minded your business or people smoked you. <laughs> okay, buddy. I'm sorry. You came from the mean streets, buddy. Ooh, that's really horrible. Well, okay, so that makes a little bit more sense, Michael Jackson. You grew up in a society or in a culture where apathy was praised. Okay. Far out, dude. 
have fun with that. I'm sure you're making the world a better place by demonstrating apathy. Cool. You know, you know who never changed. You know who never changed history for the better ever at any time in human history. The apathetic. You'll find that's a pretty running constant throughout history. Apathetic people never changed anything. They certainly didn't make the world a better place. Not caring isn't a virtue, asshole. <laughs> but, hey, you care about this guy. That's beautiful, I guess. How about instead of bullying a 41-year-old, you go get a job. I already, Well, I, I have a job. Go help the homeless. I do help the homeless. There's tons of people who come through my system that are homeless. Nice try. Something. I am doing something. I'm recording a video. So what else, Michael Jackson? I've got all those three done. What's what's next? Tell me, tell tell me, master of decency and maturity and intellectualism that you are. Tell me what I should do. And also, you guys seem to blow this way out of proportion to how much time DSP occupies in my life. I do tons of shit outside of Phil. I have a lot of time to do on stuff to fill. That's not Phil related. You are homeless. <laughs> oh, I own my own home, dude. That's cool. It sounded like you were homeless, though. I heard that you ran away. Ran away. That's kind of like being bullied. <laughs> you shouldn't be admitting that you're running away when you're an adult. You know who runs away? Kids. Kids run away. I'm running away, Mom. I can't handle it here. The rules are so strict. Only 30 minutes on the Xbox? Fuck this. I can get it, man. <laughs> Run away. That shit's terrible. Your mom's basically abusing you. <laughs> uh, J little Shadow, he's just having fun. That's fine. And uh, aren't you uh, violating a court order, by the way? Okay, but here's the thing. You're all coping and seething, but it's okay. You all can cry in your little circle jerks. What am I seething about? What am I coping about? I have nothing to feel bad about because here's the thing at the end of the day with DSP. DSP will never be happy. This man doesn't know what happiness is. He will never have a happy life. And that's because of his own actions. So I can't ever feel bad. I can't ever feel anger in that way towards DSP. Because in most of life, bad people don't actually face consequences for their actions. Again, I know, because I work in the court system. There have been plenty of bad people who managed to get away with it. And DSP will never thrive. He will always be a loser, and he'll always be a bum. He'll always have nothing, and he'll always be begging for pity and sympathy. He will never be something. That's my revenge. Revenge is living well. That's why I don't care. But he makes more money than all of you combined. Sure, and look at and look at how much how much better off he is. Look at how much better off he is. He's got so much money, right? Look at look at how happy he is. <laughs> what does that say? That's even worse for him. If he makes so much money and he's this miserable, what does that say? You got nothing to say, dude. You have nothing to say, and it's okay. It's okay to have nothing to say. And, and you know what? It's okay to be wrong. I don't hold it against you that you're wrong. You're very clearly dedicated to this dot, to this guy, and I, I guess in some level I admire that. It's You definitely have something you want to fight for. It's too bad it's something stupid, but you have something you want to fight for. But it, this, is, this is insanely dumb, dude. I, I, would, I would hope that you put this energy to something worthwhile. There's tons of people on the internet who actually deserve your attention and deserve your time and honestly deserve your dedication. Now, you're a little bit of an odd individual. I think they might probably, you know, blacklist you or toss you aside. But this is not the dude to champion, man. This dude cares nothing for you. You are nothing to him. Look at how he's treated people who have been so loyal and loving to him, who have given him so much. The second you disappoint him, you're gone. So, I don't know. That's all I'm saying is direct your energy to something worthwhile. Take your own advice, man. I don't know that question. They deleted it. No, okay. Well. But thank you for making this night, Michael Jackson. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming in, really. I, I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm not trying to be toxic in that regard. I'm not being sarcastic. Thank you for stopping by. 
I appreciate it. And it, it, you're welcome to stop by whenever you want. I don't think you necessarily had the encounter you were wanting. Or if you're like, Phil, this completely reinforces your world perspective because you see all the people in chat shitting on you and you think, see, they're all toxic and negative. Well, I'll ask what anyone should have asked to Phil. Is there a possibility, maybe, just maybe, just a little bit, that you're the one who's the fool in the equation? It's something worth exploring. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I gotta head out for tonight. Uh, thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. Uh, Michael, definitely stop by if you want to again. You you uh, you brighten my day. You, I, I appreciate the open discussion of information. I, I do. Thank you for the dialogue. Well, I'm gonna get doxed by you people, so it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna dox you. I don't do that shit, man. You should be able to have some degree of safety that you can count on. I'm never gonna dox you. And honestly, if anyone doxes you in my chat, I'm probably gonna ban them, because I just don't do that shit. It's just not appropriate because I have lines. I know DSP likes to put it in people's head that we're just awful people who do whatever we want, want people to suffer and cross the line. I'm not going to, and I'm not going to let people do that if anyway, here anyway. And I don't do Kiwi Farms, man, that much, man. They need to work on their search system. I can't navigate all that dense-ass information. So nice try on that one. I'm too lazy to use Kiwi Farms. Sorry. But again, you're more welcome to come in here. And I want to say, I was saying that I welcome the open exchange of ideas. You will notice that makes me quite distinctly different from DSP. Just the other day, DSP was talking about his his garbage disposal, and someone, a moderator, said, "Phil, that's not quite right. That's not how garbage disposals work." And Phil's response was, "You're just wrong. You're just wrong. You're just wrong." And the moderator said, well, I know this from personal experience. You're just wrong. You can't be right with Phil. Even though he said earlier, I never really had a garbage disposal. He knows more than the person who did have one. If DSP is willing to shut you down because you dare to disagree with him on the operational systems of a garbage disposal, that reflects on him. That reflects on his personality and his character. And you will notice that I will not do that. Anyone in my chat could say, Lynn, you're wrong. That's not how this works. And more likely, I'll be like, okay, maybe I'm wrong. You will not get that from him. So, anyway, have a good night, Michael. I hope that you return home. Your mom misses you. Uh, I think she may have gotten you some pizza rolls. I, I'm down for it. Pizza rolls are amazing. I like the pepperoni ones best. Everyone else... Thank you so much. I don't mean to exclude all of you. I love you all to death. Thank you so much. I'm going to be out of here. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50 on that. But if I do stream, it'll probably be something Dale-related or... I don't know. I can't really promise anything, but I might show up. And uh, I do plan to be here Friday. That's the plan. I was thinking about doing a um, Going Green stream Friday. That'd be fun. Well, we'll see. We'll test the water. Man, I'd throw my piss jug on you if I could. All in your face. That sounds like a waste of perfectly good piss, man. Later, dudes. Have a great night, everyone. And be chill. Be cool. And question cruelty. Sitting in meals and meals. Thank you, Sniper. I, I, I will consider that. I need to get some stuff collected. Take care, everyone. Good night.